you guys have been asking for Khmer food reviews for the longest time. And when I was in Vietnam, I used to love and go explore different foods. But what I started to realize is that the food here is kind of basic. I think they only have maybe five, six, seven different dishes. But they're very much like Asian oriented, you know, noodles, fried rice. Um, and then they have the also some other dishes that I have tried and are delicious. But there is this one place right here that I ate when I arrived and it was so good. It was so, so nice. Just the mixture of texture with flavor and sweet and salt. Like it's, it's noodles that I've had before somewhere in Asia, but never like these type of noodles. They're completely different. So I want to come here and show you guys how it is because believe it or not, this is the view right here. You get to sit on the beach with these beautiful families in this awesome little neighborhood and relax on the beach, have a meal that they just make right in front of you. The people here are so, so clever, I think. Everyone here is so relaxed. They're nice people. But I'm gonna show you right now what is the Khmer menu looks like. This is actually the first time that I saw a Khmer menu. It's just Khmer. So this is some of their main dishes right here. See like fried rice with beef, fried rice with holy basil, fried noodle chicken. That's the one I had. Um, that thing was next level. Spaghetti carbonara. Oh, beef lulac is one of the main ones that is so, so good. It's really beautiful. It's a lot of rice with meat and just vegetables. Um, but with, with this type of flavor that I really haven't tried before. But uh, I don't know what I want. I'm trying to see. I really want to try the fried rice, I think. Okay, let's walk a little bit more and then maybe we'll come back. But as you guys can see as well, the prices are so affordable. Like the most expensive plate is $3.50. So it's a great place to come and chill. Imagine this is your vacation and you have a family and you got to feed five people. Come on, dude. Everybody be eating good every day, you know? <laughs> no, it's, it's a cool place. It's so unique. Everyone is just living. This is the true island life. But yeah, over there, I haven't seen other places actually. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry man. Sorry. I did eat on that side the other day. This place as well, this Blue Dragon place, I think it's just really, really nice seafood, but I don't think they're open yet. But at night, I've seen this place get really, really packed. Okay. Um, oh, they have, maybe I can eat here too. You know, I haven't seen much of like soup stuff here in Cambodia as you would um, in Vietnam. But I think maybe we should just eat here. Right next to the beach. And I can show you guys the quality of this lady. Because to tell you the truth, it's been the best meal I have had since I arrived to this island. Let's go with the... Uh, um, damn, I wish you guys were live. You guys would tell me what to get. I think I want to get the fried rice. Let's get the fried rice with... Ooh, fried rice with seafood. Let's go fried rice with seafood. Get that. Hello. Actually, this happened last time. I don't know who's, who's working here. So, um, I think it's this lady. Hello. Are you Are you guys open? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I Can I get um some fried rice with seafood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Can I see how you cook it? So this is a little station where she cooks her stuff, dude. She has all the ingredients right there. Wow. Your food is very nice. It's very good. Oh, look, she has a little fridge. Wow. I don't want to disturb her while she's doing her job, but yeah, this is all the ingredients and she just has everything cut up, ready to go. Everything's so fresh too. That's so beautiful. I'm excited. Yeah, the, the noodles that I had with this lady were fantastic. And the cool places about this is that they also have so many spices, like the sauces that you can never think of are in there. My favorite right here, hoisin sauce, bro. Hoisin sauce, that shit is next level. So nice. So yeah, guys, this is the life in the island. And of course, our little puppies and dogs everywhere always being so friendly and sweet, right, buddy? I was in the life yesterday and um, I was just feeding dog after dog. There's just so many of these dogs. Poor little dogs, they're all homeless. But they're making it, right? You're making it? It's all good, bro? It's all good? It's all good, right? Now that restaurant over there is probably, I think, the most expensive restaurant of all. Like, this plate's for $25 in there. 
Uh, maybe tonight I'll come and check it out because I think a lot of people will want to see the menu and stuff. But uh, maybe have a beer, have a drink in there. But it gets pop in, you know, like the lights and beautiful kind of wharf view. Okay, let's see how's it going. Oh, look at my lady, dude. She's been here working for a good seven minutes. Damn, that looks busted, bro. Ooh, yes, sir. Oh, damn. Oh, that smells delicious. Mm, damn, that's so crazy. Oh, I can't wait to try this, guys. That's so cool. It smells really, really nice, guys. I haven't had fried rice in a while. We're going to see, you know, I am... Um, Probably the best fried rice I've ever had was, I'm a big Chinese fried rice kind of guy and it was in Texas. Like a lot of Asian places kind of replicate it or, or, or get to that point, but not like the one in Texas. But I think this one kind of smells like it. It just has a nice sweet fried rice kind of combination. And look at the way she just serves that stuff, bro. Mm. good damn look at the portions too guys it's not it's no joke it's no joke she she makes sure you get your money's worth baby that's awesome I mean I think it's over but let me set up my other camera so we can have this together oh, Akun, thank you so much wow all right guys we got the food dude amazing In this awesome beautiful spot look at the view dude it's right now 5 30 so the sun hasn't set yet it's so pretty so they say that the best sunset is on the other side of the island tomorrow i'm gonna rent a scooter and that's what i'm gonna record for the next video uh going around the island and i don't know if i'll get to see the sunset though because i'm going to another place called nest tomorrow but don't worry, we'll stay tuned. Let's have some of this delicious food. Ooh. We have our meal. $3.50 for all this, baby. And we got our 75 cent beer just across the street from here, guys. Look, I don't know what's the name of the stall or the place, but you won't miss it. It's right next to the wharf where uh, you see this really big restaurant. You know, it's funny because at the restaurant just right here where you can see it, it would cost you probably like seven dollars i think or something ridiculous like that but this lady you saw how she cooked it man this thing was bomb the, the noodles i had the other day as i said oh next level so what we got here we got some Ooh, look how that egg breaks baby she knows how to cook it right damn damn now the way i like my fried rice is a bit crunchy you know not too wet so it'd be interesting to see how this one is, but all I really see in there is squid, you know, the vegetables that we saw that she added. Um, I think, yeah, a little bit of octopus. That's really it. So here they don't, here in Cambodia, the fried rice or the seafood kind of dishes do not come with any prawns. That's what I've realized, which it's fine. Maybe no prawns in Cambodia. Mm. <laughs> Damn, son. Wow, this is nice. Dude. You know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the rice. But the rice, this rice is really nice. It's just slightly more thick and it has some texture. Wow, but it's good. It's, um, because some of the seafood can be very salty. Sorry, the some of the fried rice can be very salty. But this one, now this is like perfect combination this is balanced route this could she cook his it on that grill on that pot man i don't know what that is maybe as well there's some seafood taste from the, the beach who knows i don't know but it's delicious mm. Mm. guys if you come to this place eat with this lady right here on the beach you won't regret it Mm. Mm. so good well and it is so much 
for so little that you're paying, you know. Like some of the places they'll give you maybe like this portion. But this is a big, big plate, dude. You saw she just cooked for me. She was there for a good 10, 15 minutes just cooking for me. Amazing. I'm curious to know how it will be at night when she gets really busy. But there's no one here to know today the island guys. I feel like I was the only expect here. I did not see that many expects. Maybe four or five, but that's it. A lot of people kind of come to the island and then leave. That's what I've heard. And they said the best time to come here is obviously on the weekends. Because sometimes people come here for a little like small holiday from the main city. But uh other than that, man, this place is so dead, man. I just feels so bad for all these people. I don't know. I feel like people are really putting tourism or traveling to countries like this off because this place used to be packed. That's what they say. It was crazy. Like, you guys know. Some of you guys have mentioned that you've been here before. It probably looks like a ghost town right now compared to what you guys saw. But, oh, fuck. I'm so full, guys. I don't know if I can finish this. Mm. Wow. It's a lot of food. I'm adding a little bit of this hoisin sauce. See what's the deal. Mm -hmm. See what happens, you know? <clears throat> but Jesus Christ. It's a lot of food. And this is my first meal of the day, guys. But it's just a lot. It's really a lot for 350. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Oh, the wholesome sauce. Hell we yeah. go. Revived it like a motherfucker. Damn, this is busting, dude. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Final rating for this place. I gotta give it a nine. Not even a nine. A 9.5, really. This is almost 10. If it wasn't because the lady made me go up and get the beer over there and move my camera and take it with me just so I don't get robbed. And I'm just scared here. It would be a 10, but she was like, just go buy it over there. I was like, oh, all right. But the price, the quality, the service, she's been really nice actually. Like, don't get me wrong, she's been amazing. The way she cooks my meal is with heart. I love it. And um, yeah, the location, dude, this location is too perfect, it's too beautiful, it's so pic picturesque. So yeah, 9.5, that's really it. I'll see you soon. Christian Rodriguez, bye.